Kia ora whanau, you're here with me, the Māori Warhammer, and today we'll be playing a Warhammer 40k battle report. Okay. Alright, so today will be a 50 power level battle, or roughly 50 power level, between the uh, Eldar and the Genstealer Colts on this uh, Imperial planet. So as you know from the previous campaign, Dark Elder and Elder have joined forces for some inexplicable reason to combat the Genstealer Cultists. Um, what we find out in this mission, the reason for the Eldar Alliance, um, they've come to this planet in search of a valuable artifact here. Um, when the Eldar detected it, he broke off from the Dark Elder Jukari forces to uh, recover it. So that's the reason for their being here, of course. Um, once once the Genstealer Colts unveiled what they were um, what they were doing, they uh, arrived in force to uh, to stop the uh, enemy here. So the the, the Genstealer Colts are led by the Patriarch himself come to uh, wreak havoc. And we've got this small Eldar war band ready to defend with their very lives. Um, pretty much this mission, uh, only uh, Gene Steeler Colts are limited to only infantry forces. So that's why we've got none of my vehicles, none of the nice toys that I've picked up. Uh, and we'll just be foot slogging it. Endless reserves, so when a unit gets not uh, wiped out, we take it off, restart it back on the field in deployment. Um, Eldar just need to survive for three turns, after which they'll uh, win victory. Uh, they lose and I win if the Farseer is killed. So we've got a little screen of uh, around here to protect them. Wraith Lord should provide some very heavy weapons fire to keep everyone alive. But we'll see how we do as we go into the first round. We're just going to roll off. I'm, I'm not too sure if it's going to be balanced. But we're going to roll off to see who starts um, and keep things interesting. Uh, but before we do that, we'll go take a look at the armies that we'll be playing today. Leading the Gene Steeler Colts today, we have the Patriarch himself. Um, just basic with claws, I reckon his weapons are. We have two 10-man neophyte hybrid squads and one 8-man squad with a variety of weapons, um, seismic cannon, Heavy Stubber, Mining Lasers, Grenade Launchers, Flamers, and Webbers. Three Acolyte Hybrid Squads, each with a Heavy Weapon. Um, heavy Rock Drill here, uh, Rock Saw, and Rock Claw thing with uh, Sergeants. Two Five-Man Gene Stealer Squads with Rending Claws. And a Four-Man Aberrant Squad with Power Hammers and Power Picks. Leading the Eldar, we have a Farseer with a Singing Spear, something like that. A 10 man Guardian Squad with Shuriken Cannons and a Heavy Weapons Platform. Five Wraith Guard with Wraith Cannons. A War Walker with two Shuriken Cannons, aka Chicken Legs. Peace de Resistance, the Wraith Knight. Big boy with uh, two heavy wraith cannons and uh, star cannons, I think. Yeah, this is this is the reason you view the channel in Moldy Wargamer. Look at these big boy, beautiful models. Yeah. All right, so um, Gene Stealer Colts get the first turn, and we've just completed the movement phase. Everyone shuffling for the. Uh, the noose is tightening around the Eldar neck. Um, we're going to get some turn one charges in for sure on the smaller table with the speed of the Gene Stealers. And we're going to see some action, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, we'll go into the shooting phase. Right, and I did, I did forget to mention that um, the Colt Ambush abilities uh, won't be used for this mission. Um, Give a, give a bit more of a handicap towards the outer because they're going to need it. As we go into uh, these neophytes, nine uh, auto guns, rapid firing, we're going to go and uh, wipe out this uh, Wraith Knight. So 18 shots, 
heading on fours. 18 shots heading on fours. Nine hits and wounding on sixes. Whoa, one, two, three sixes. Yeah. Three up saves from the Wraith Knight. Oh, one went through. Command point to re-roll that wound. Oh. And that takes one wound. How much does he have left? Uh, 23. Just put a wound marker on to indicate how many wounds he has. Damn. All right, so end of the shooting phase for the Gene Stealer Colt. Took out one Guardian and uh, dealt a wound to the mighty Wraith Knight. Now we've got these uh, Gene Stealer Hordes here. Um, oh, if I didn't mention, these guys are all advanced. Um, but the, now we've got the Gene Stealers about to uh, deal in some charges. So these guys will be charging into um, the Wraith Lord, uh, Wraith Knight and the War Walker. And so we'll begin some Overwatch. Alright, and we've got a uh, 5 inch charge into the Wraith Lord, uh, Wraith Knight, and a 7 inch into the War Walker. So uh, he's overwatching first with his heavy Wraith Cannons. 4 shots hitting on 6s. Oh, 2 6s. So that's 2 hits with the Wraith Cannons and winning on 2s. Oh, so two wounds from the Overwatch fire, five up in vulnerables, none. D6 damage. Yeah, so that just kills two. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. Right, so three Gene Stealers dead before Overwatch, We're gonna charge five inches. Yeah, they made it. So it's gonna be a solo charge here. Right, so charge is here. We've got a 6 inch charge for the Gen Stealers into the uh, Wraith Guard and an 8 inch charge for the Patriarch. Um, so we're going to uh, roll for the Gen Stealers first. Yeah, Gen Stealers into the Wraith Knight. 6 attacks and that is hitting on... You can read my book, that's hitting on 3s. Or four hits. Alright, so we've got 12 attacks from these Gene Stealers. Hitting on threes. Get back to you. Seven hits, winning on fives. Come back to you. Alright, and um, yeah, these guys got three wounds apiece. Crazy. Um, Patriarch, Big Dog, Papa, Papa P. Six attacks, hitting on twos. Oh, what? Hitting on threes. Yeah, that's better. Three wounds. All right, so uh, six up saves. Three six ups. Three fail. So does D three wounds per hit. Oh, that's wrong. One. Two two and three. So two, he's dead. He's dead. Three, he's dead. And one, and one left on one wound. Whoa, yeah, baby. That's how we roll. Right, so um, we've managed to take down two of the Wraith Guard. Um, wound that once. Uh, we're doing good. Uh, we're going to have some attacks back. See what happens. All right, so um, we lost three Gene Stealers here. We lost four there. The noose is tightening, but they may be able to survive the Eldar. They may be able to recover the ancient Eldari artifact. We'll see how they go as they return fire in Eldar, turn one. End of Eldar movement phase, turn one. Uh, we have the Wraith Knight falling back. You can still shoot being a Wraith Knight. Same as the Wraith Blade, they've fallen back. He's moved forward, um, so we can get some smiting off. We'll come back to you. Uh, Does psychic face go before? After movement. Movement, after movement. Yeah. We'll double check that. All right, so psychic phase, the mighty fast here. It's gonna lock into uh, psychic, psychic battle of the minds with the 
insidious uh, patriarch. So he's going to cast Smite, going off on a 5. Goes off on a 7. Uh, uh, deny that. Get one deny. So I just need to roll higher than 7. Oh, which I don't. So it does D3 wounds to the Patriarch. 1, one D3. 2 wounds. Alright, Farsi is going to shoot his Singing Spear into the Gene Stealer. Uh, the Patriarch. Uh, hitting on 2s. Wounding on 2s. Because of the weapon ability. Dave. Come on, boy. Yeah, baby. So, uh, Patriarch's failed the wounds from the Wraith Guard. Um, so he's, he's going to suffer D6 damage, but we've got the unquestioning loyalty. So each time a Gene Stealer Cult's character loses a wound, um, on a 4-up the character does not lose the wound, but one model in the unit you picked is slain. So I want to roll two 4-up saves, hopefully the Gene Stealers are going to dive in and take the shots instead. Yes, they have. So, he lives. He lives! They shoot him, they shoot. And then what do we see? Heavy weapons platform. Sorry, it is being realigned. Targeting the Patriarch. Three shots hitting on threes. That's all. Two hits and fives. One hit. Yep. Invulnerable. Yes. The big dog. Warwalker Walker into the Aberrants. Aberrantons. Uh, that's six shots. Because you got two of them. Heading on three total. That's five hits. Wounding on threes, five wounds. Four. Three five up saves. They did so. Uh, how many wounds do they have? Two wounds. So that's two of them dead. Uh, blasting his Wraith Cannon into these guys. Two shots. One hit. Twos. Yeah, how many are dead? Oh, how many? D6 damage. Miscalculation firing his. Uh, Big Wraith Cannon into the um, near fights. He's going to fire his, his uh, last one into the Patriarch here. Two shots. Oh, last command point to try and uh, scavenge back at it. Yes, he's got a hit and a two. Oh, nothing. Big boys, toys, nothing. Mm -hmm. Charging into the Patriarch, you can't shoot back. Yeah, they're in. Fast here, charging in. He's in. Anyone else want to charge him? Mm. Wraith Knight. Wraith Knight will probably kill him. Yeah. Roll it. Yeah, Wraith, Wraith Knight's in as well. Four Walker, seven inch charging to the Aberrants, Aberrantons. Oh, and a mighty eleven, he's in. Uh, see some Guardians gonna charge this lone Gene Stealer. Three inches. I should get him in. Yeah, he's in. They're all in, they're rumbling. That's what we're about, entertainment here on the channel. Making sure you're subscribing, viewers. Does this thing walk? Yeah. It oh, okay. It's like a lawnmower, someone's pushing it. Mm -hmm. Gotta keep those lawns trimmed, eh? Alright, we've got some rumbles coming up, some assaults. Yeah, baby. Moldy Wargamer presents the Entertainment Gaming Wargaming Super Channel. Never let you down. Forget Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. Forget Joseph Parker and Anthony Joshua. Muhammad Ali, does he still fight these days? Uh, <laughs> oh, RIP to the great 
Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. R.I.P. Guards are going to take the first swing. Vengeance for their two fallen brothers. Three shots each. Oh, three attacks hitting on threes. One hit. Five, toughness five, winning on fours. Useless. Attacks with the singing spear. Two attacks with the singing spear from the Farseer. See how that rhymes? Twos to hit. Oh, loser. Two to wing. Five up, save. Baby. Okay, so um, Rafe Knight's gonna stomp in. Someone needs to take down this Patriot before he attacks back. Uh, 12 attacks with his Titanic feet. Hitting on threes. And we'll get back to you, Kano. With however many hits, wounding on threes. Stomp him out. Alright, so Patriarch's down to four, he's been stomped out. Stomp the yard. We've got five, five, and five up and vulnerables. Whoa, we just passed three of them. Fail two. Two D three. Oh, six wounds. Man, very lucky. Patriarch. Yeah. That's a me. I'm Mario. I'll put some Mario sound effects on that, like when he hops on the Goombas. Wait. And a little coin. Yeah. Behind the scenes here on the channel. Patriarch dead. That's the wound. Nothing. Oh, okay. And that is the end of Eldar turn one. They've survived the first onslaught. Man, these games are taking a long time to film, I must admit. And they took out some priority threats. We took out all the gene stealers. We took out the Patriarch, he's not coming back on. Wiped out three of these, two of these. Don't okay, however many of these. Reminds me a bit of taking Morel. Four loss, the leadership seven. Oh, six plus four. Uh, so we lose three. Nice. Should have kept my big mouth shut. Same as these guys, seven. Five. And they lost three. So they lose one. Oh, ho, ho. These guys are too small to worry about. Yeah, alright. So that's the damage is done. Wanna see some new units brought back fresh, alive and kicking. The target is still in the sight and he's less defended than he ever was. We'll come back to you as, as these waves set to approach. These waves set to approach. Moldy Wargamer. Our uh, Gene Stealer Colts, turn two. All right, so end of movement phase for the Gene Stealer Colts on turn two. Two more turns to complete their objective. Big Wraith Knight standing in the way. The Wraith Guard. These Guardians. Yes, everyone's moving forward. Gene Stealers have returned. Gene Stealers have returned, as have more Neophyte hybrids. We're gonna see some, uh, some action in the works as we go into the shooting phase. End of the shooting phase. Gene Stealer Colts, turn two. Not a lot done. These all missed. Useless. Useless. So we got one heavy mining platform, whatever it is, useless. Useless. I'm gonna get some charges in though. So we'll come back with those charges. Yeah, baby. Multi Wargamer. And charges, we're just gonna charge into the Wraith, Wraith Knight. So that's like four inch charges or three inch charges for both. One. Easy. And Overwatch just from uh, the Wraith. Two wounds, two wounds, two five ups, one, one dead. End of Jesse Lacolt's turn two. Nothing done, I think uh, we're not going to win. But um, look, we've only done three wounds to the Wraith Knight of it. It's like 20, so it's got 21 left. Yeah, alright. Um, we're gonna kill 
more units, so I can promise you that. So stay tuned, stick around. I'm gonna fight to the very end. Movement phase, Eldar turn two. Uh, these guys are locked in combat, they're gonna stay locked in combat. He's fallen out of combat. Uh, Eldar's moved into a protective circle. Wraith guard's still around him. Looking to blow some guys off. We're going to the psychic phase for the Eldar. The Acolytes going off on a five. 11, so that does D6 wounds. High number, high number. Oh, one. Could have wiped out all of them if you rolled a five. End of Eldar shooting phase, end of their turn, blowing off a few more targets. What we've noticed, high damage units, but not a lot of shots. So the numbers of the Gene Stealer Colts will uh, begin to wear them down eventually. Um, they're already not at full unit strength, a lot of them. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. We're going to go back into these charges and into these assaults. Three invulnerable five up saves. Two passed, or two, one, one pass, two failed. D3 damage, he's got three wounds. Three, four, dead. Roll a D6, see if it explodes. D6 to explode. Not today. Woo! There we go, that's uh that's first. Oh, we killed quite a bit. Alright, and that's the end of the turn. Victory here for the Colts. Told you. We're gonna lose the mission, but we're gonna take some people with us. As we go into the third and final turn. Can we seize the victory? All we need to do is kill that Farseer. We'll find out. Green Steel Colts, turn three. Three and final two in the movement phase. Everyone's moving forward. Some people have been on the board since turn one, are, uh, have been biding their time and now in a perfect position to take advantage of uh, the weekend armies. Here we go. This guy is protected. We cannot, we won't be shooting at him this turn unless we thin out the numbers. We'll see what damages we can bring. As um, as, as the, the game draws to an end, the Patriarch summons all of the Gene Sealers back again for one final swarm. We'll see what happens. Third and final turn of this mission. These guys have advanced. Closing in the gap. So it's like 19 shots into them. Guardians. Fours. Six. Five up saves. Oh, and plus one. <laughs> Boom. Told you. Might not win the mission, but we're going to thin the numbers. He's fought bravely, this guy. But the cultists, the cults are mad. As they turn their gaze towards the lone guardian. Four shots, fours. Three hits. Fours to wound. Two wounds. Two five up saves. One save. Yeah! Another unit wiped. Mining laser. Fives to hit because they moved. Woo! Woo! Strength nine. Uh, strength back. I'll just double check that. So we've got two unlikely hits and two uh, three ups to wound. Two, three ups. Mm -hmm. There certainly is, my friend. Heavy mining laser, minus three. So you're going to use these five up and vulnerable. Two five up and vulnerables. One passed, one failed. And that is D6 damage. 
3 damage. Bring him on to 6 wounds, and how much does he have left? Uh, 18. Oh, 18. That's it. Slow and steady. We're getting there. We're chipping away. In the shooting phase, we have wiped out the Guardians. These guys on their, this, uh, this flank here have done their job. Their turn, their game is over. Um, Wraith Guards here, so we're going to get some charges from them. From them. From them. From them. Let's see what happens. Or from the... Oh, Overwatch. So this spot roll eight. Into the um, into these blobs of gene stealers. Sixes. Oh wow. Three. And winning on twos. Two wounds. Five ups. Oh, past them both. And oh, failed one. Oh, failed charges. What? No! Holy shit. Alright, GG. Nine punches into the Wraith Knight from the Neophytes. Fours. Five hits, and that's sixes to wound. Nothing. Eight attacks, regular attacks from the hybrids going into the Wraith Knight. Fours. And wounding on sixes. Again, nothing. Rock saw. Two hits. Two hits. Yeah, baby. You can see him there between the legs. Equals. The Saul versus the Wraith Knight, wounding on fours. Whoa, two wounds, and that is AP minus four, so two five up and vulnerables. Yeah. Past one, third one, so he's on eight wounds. Eight wounds, Fano, we've done it. We're destroying him. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do two attacks. Oh, we're gonna do five attacks into the Wraith Guard from the other neophytes. Fours, three hits. Fours to wound, nothing. And this guy's gonna rumble. Sergeant with the power maul into the fast here. Two attacks. Fours. Four. Wound. Alright, now uh, he's going to attack back. Got 12 stomps coming out. Uh, two attacks, threes. One hit. Four. Nothing. No, actually, I think it's threes. I'm going to say it's threes. I'm sure they're stronger than it. And two and two from the roof, roof guard. Oh, from the fuss here. One attack. Oh no, two attacks here, so. And he kills. Alright, end of Gene Stealer Colts, turn three. So, didn't uh, quite manage to say, to complete their objective, but they did slaughter a good lot of them. Um, we'll let my opponent go back into uh, making some attacks. On his, uh, we'll go into the final turn, Elder. It already is an Eldar victory um, here today. Alright, so that is the end of Gene Stealer Colts turn 3 and the end of this uh, mission. So the uh, Gene Stealer Colts did not quite complete their objective to stop the uh, Farseer. He's completed his ancient ritual and unlocked the uh, relic that he uh, came with his craft world onto this planet to acquire. So um, he's, a, he's a happy Farsi, he's got what he came for. Um, with, with the unlocking of that uh, psychic, of that magical relic, 
all the remaining Genstella forces just get wiped out by some sort of psychic explosion. And so, the survivors rejoice. Woo! Yeah, woo! Um, but the, uh, the battle is not yet over on this Imperial outpost. The, um, the, the cult, the, uh, Gen Stealer cult are rising. The Drakari Elder uh, allies have called for the Farseer back to the, uh, front lines to wipe out for one final engagement. So you stay tuned for that one there, Farno. It's going to be, was well, going to be 90 points, you know, we're going to do big games because we want to meet the requests of you viewers. But man, these games take so long to film, so I'm not going to be bothered doing it. Give me more likes, give me more subscribers, and I might, I might be persuaded to. But we're going to go 75. 75, I reckon? You don't want to play for 80. four hours. 80? 80. Yeah, 80, all right, then 80 points. Yeah. 80 points, mate. My time is money, and if I'm not earning money, hey, that's not, that's not what it's about. It's not about the money, never about the money. It's about the fun, about the entertainment. You know, I, was, I was blinded for a moment there by greed. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. That's another another episode, a uh, fun one there. You know, it was a custom made mission. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that out the man, we could barely scratch that. I was originally planning to do, have this guy fight on his second profile, make it more balanced. But um, we managed to deal eight wounds to it, so keep in mind. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the third and final mission in the Xerath Uprising campaign. Um, I am the Moldy Wargamer there, Fano. Kakite Ano.